Hello, I'm Alex. I'm the CEO and co-founder of OpenCBS for Open Core Banking System. A few years ago, I had the chance to set up a microfinance institution in Central Asia where about 70% of people are unbanked. Our mission was to serve the less privileged by giving them access to basic financial services. And we're looking for a system to run our operations, what we call a core banking system. But we've realized that everything in the market was too expensive, too complex, but also too restrictive. So this is how came the idea to develop systems that would be agile enough to serve customers in the way they want. Our cloud-based core banking system is built around the needs of people and takes the complexity out of banking. Thanks to OpenCBS, you could launch a new financial product in just minutes, or you could also apply new KYC fields immediately to comply with new requirements of your regulator. Finally, you also get a 360-degree view of your clients, everything accessible in one single view. For instance, customer loan balances, uh, savings balances, or also personal information. But for those who cannot change their core banking system, which is a bit like the engine of a bank, we've also have developed solutions that can digitize key processes. For instance, you can see our mobile application here, which is used for doing customer onboarding in the field, to do quick loan appraisal at the client's location, and helps reducing the approval time from sometimes a few days to just a few minutes. So this is a value we are bringing to our clients. We are helping top managers to lower their costs and get access to real-time business intelligence. For customer-facing staff, we help them uh, selling more, but also selling more easily, which ultimately makes clients happier. And for the IT managers, we also have a great value proposition because we can go live within weeks because we are uh, proposing everything in the cloud. And we can also easily interface with third-party applications thanks to our open APIs. But once we have developed solutions for microfinance, which is a very volume intensive industry operating sometimes in difficult environments, we've realized that with minor adaptations, we could also propose our products to, for instance, fintech lenders, or even why not smaller banks in developing countries, the lower end of the banking market. And we've, all, we've already signed up a few clients in those new uh, markets. It's quite interesting because if you look at the market trends, we are providing SaaS solutions for banking. 25% of the market is SaaS today, but 60% is going to be SaaS in 2025. So really, we have a product which is absolutely suitable for, for, for the market and for the trends of the market. And even more, some of our competitors like Mambu, Thought Machine are neglecting that lower end of the market where we are and where we are moving a little bit up market. As of today, we have really proven our business model because uh, we have about 15 live clients. We have impacted the lives of 400,000 entrepreneurs and we've generated more than 1 million US dollars of revenues. As you can see, the demand for our products is everywhere in the world because we have only one single office in Central Asia and we have clients on all continents. We have a very simple business model. We're a B2B business model. Our clients are financial institutions. We charge an initial fee for customization and a yearly fee, a SaaS fee based on the volume. We are also, we have a strong impact in terms of, uh, of uh, development because we are helping people to access financial services at their do doorstep thanks to our digitization, digitization story app. And we have also uh, a, a very high outreach because we help institutions expand to rural areas that may be sometimes too expensive to serve uh, using a standard, I, I would say, brick and mortar infrastructure. Today, we have 15 employees in our Hong Kong and Bishkek office. We also have a few, uh, I would say, supporters and, and early investors from France who are bringing value because they are working in specific fields that are that are interesting for us. And we are raising uh, a seed round of 1 million US dollars that will be spent on product development, credibility expenses for upscaling like certifications and also sales and marketing. We have a few uh, early investors Investors also like the Qatar Development Bank, Mashreb Bank, Visa, the IFC that have joined our pre-seed round. So if you are interested, just come and speak to us. We're at your disposal. Thanks again for your interest.